right, all right, all right. Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Today we are teaching mom the Gmail inbox settings. You're going to learn how to customize all of the Gmail inbox settings. And this one is an iPhone edition. Let's get started. Okay, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. We're going to dive in now and show you how to how to tweak and change your Gmail settings from right within your Gmail inbox on your iPhone specifically. So, by the way, before I go into this, if you go down, if you let me show you how I got here. The hamburger at the top, the three lines, top left corner, click that, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see settings, third from the bottom, click on settings. These are the settings you have control over within your Gmail uh, account within your Gmail inbox if you're on your phone. If you're on the computer, go find my video either in the description of this video or on the Gmail tutorials playlist or just go search for uh, Gmail settings computer on my Teach Mom How YouTube channel and it goes into more detail. There's a lot more settings you can manipulate and change within the settings tab on a computer versus what you can do on the phone. On the phone, you're very limited. Okay, but I will show you what you can do within the settings of your Gmail app on your phone. Now, you can change between Gmail accounts. Top right here, these are the two Gmail accounts I have hooked up to my phone right now. You can add multiple Gmail accounts on here, and you can switch between Gmail accounts here in the settings. You can change the, the way your list density shows up. Mine's set to default, which looks like, show you my inbox. That's what the default list density or the, the way these are listed. That's the default of how that shows up. Let me show you what these other options look like by coming back into settings. Okay, I can change from default to comfortable. And you'll see the difference right here, okay? Comfortable will show me, or sorry, default will show me the attachment. This second email from the top, you'll see there's two attachments. That shows me that that email has attachments. Comfortable condenses that more and does not show that the attachment is there. And Compact condenses them even further so I can see a bigger list of emails. So let's take a look at Comfortable real quick. Go back to the inbox. Okay, looks pretty much the same, but you won't see the attachments below the emails. Then I go back into my settings. And let's change the uh, conversation list density to Compact. And you'll see that um, if I go to compact, when I go back to my inbox, you'll see it just kind of made them smaller. So there's a lot more on that list. If I need to mass go through a bunch of emails or if I need to mass delete a bunch of emails, I can select them all at once and delete them or archive them. So that's what that setting does. Go back into my settings. Then you have a theme. This is how you change the look and feel of your inbox. Some people like to get creative with this. I just like the basic default. On a computer, you can get pictures, you can get all kinds of colors. On the phone, you just have three options, light, dark, or system default. So light is what you're looking at. I'll show you. Okay, back into settings. And I'm going to change my list density back to default because I like that the best. Uh, theme, light, dark. Dark just makes the screen black. There you go. Now you can see that. Some people like that. I only like that at night, but for the most part, I prefer the default. Go back into settings, go to theme, and let's just set it to the system default. Okay. So that's pretty much all that you have in settings. There is the mail swipe actions. This is just where you can set up how your phone responds to swipe. I'll show you some examples. Uh, accounts that don't. So So if you click on right swipe, these are what you can put as options when you right swipe your email, okay? What you can have it do. Right? So when I right swipe, it can snooze the email. It can move it to a certain folder. It can move it to the trash. It can archive it, okay? You can decide how you want to do that. I like mine to be trash. If I right swipe it, I like to move it to the trash. And then you can also determine what left swiping does. If I left swipe, 
I can trash it, I can mark it as red, I can snooze it, I can move to. I like to have it move to. And so then what I do is if I right swipe, I delete an email. If I left swipe, I archive that email into a specific label or folder, which we'll learn more about in a future video. So that is it. Those are your Gmail settings, okay? So that is it. Those are your Gmail settings. That's everything you need to know about the Gmail settings on your iPhone. Now, don't leave my channel. Go learn more about Gmail. Either continue watching this video if you're watching the full-length Gmail tutorial video or watch this playlist I got on the screen for you. It's got everything you need to know about Gmail. Go check it out. Hey, Kurt here with Teach Mom How. Before you go anywhere else, check out this playlist I created for you. Everything you can ever need or want to know about Gmail is found in this playlist. Click the video playlist and watch. Also, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications.